Greetings, welcome back to the outer worlds. Do we have anything left to do now? So I, oh, the frightened engineer, okay. There's that, so let's get out of here, just in case. Region, and let's go to the botanical lab. Fortunately, I don't think I will get another level up after finishing this quest. Well, maybe we're kind of close. Let's see. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Found all of them? No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Yeah, part one of this. Actually, I want. No, really, I have to. Okay. Look at that. Building a computing machine out of spectrum potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. One data pad's enough to guide me down my newfound path. Just remember, I got something saved for you if you find me all three. Yeah, I found it wasn't really hard. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Part two. Ain't that just ironical? If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. I would like more. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Can I have all three? This is part three. Yeah, I don't know why it was great out. <sighs> now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Yes. Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. It's just Ooh, a nice. contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Thanks. You're so close to leveling, god damn it! Can I... What? The pinnacle lapse now will first be able to salvage the power regulator now. Oh, oh, let's go for that now. God damn it's in the, it's in the same spot. Are you, can you still use a workbench? Hi! That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? Because she told me to. This so uh, I read need. I don't like any of those answers. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. Okay. You tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Mm, what happened to you? All this anger has had to come from somewhere. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. Okay. We had a store of medicine locked away. But Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. I'm, uh, I'm willing to deal with him for you. To cross no, 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 no. Okay, I guess. Some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done. Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Maybe. Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. 
Yep. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. Okay. The secret is human. What? Earth. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. As long as you don't use the meat. What happens when you run out of corpses? Our cemeteries got corpses aplenty, enough for a generation's worth of crops. Okay, can I take it now? Yeah. Okay, I'm not taking all any of that. Okay, give me a second. I'll do the leveling up. Okay, so we are maxed out on dialogue for now, and I gave everything else to stealth. Yeah. Isn't perfect? Didn't perfect level up yet? Yeah. Not yet. Okay. Mm, Thomas, Thomas, we need to talk. Sorry, uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Is all. You won't survive without power. It's time to go back to Edgewater. I'm thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. So don't work at, ca at the cannery. You wanted to be an engineer. You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and. My very own toolbox. It's just Adeline's never gonna forget. She told me to talk to you. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater, and I'm as good as dead to her. <laughs> I'm going to try to creep into stepping down. You know where to find me. Sure. Okay. Grace, Grace, Grace. There she is. No, it's Zoe. Grace. I don't know what you did to talk some sense into Zoe, but I appreciate it. You're welcome. I don't know why you care so much about her. The matter's been weighing on me. Zoe came back, but I couldn't keep her from slipping out in the first place. Who's to say I could keep marauders from slipping in? I don't see us lasting more than a couple of weeks out here. I'm loath to admit it. We're gonna have to make our peace with Thompson and hope he takes us back. Listen, we go back to Reed, hat in hand, begging for our old jobs back. Well, Adelaide's not gonna forgive us. She never talked to us again. Hmm. Thomas told me the same it's thing. It's just a town to Adelaide. It's a symbol of everything that's wrong with this colony. A big, heartless machine of metal and gears grinding workers down to dust. We're the closest thing Adelaide's got to a family. If we go back to Edgewater, she's gonna feel betrayed. Okay, I don't know anything hasty. I'm going to try to talk Creed into stepping down. Sure. Suit yourself. I'll be here. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do now. Get back into the Edgewater. Back to the guy. Yeah. Hopefully he will step down. Return to the no, I don't want to return to the unreal. Oh, blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, I don't want to return to the unreal. Unreal. No, there's no way. There's no fucking way I'm going to spell it right. Oh, wait, I might kill you if you don't stop doing that. Yeah. Okay, nothing. That's creepy. How can I pickpocket someone? 
Come on, get up. Get up. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their place? I spoke to Adelaide, she won't come back so long as you're here. I wanted to talk about something. Let's start with that. Mm, have you been a look around your town lately? It is my job to keep two eyes on my town. But I'm did you? Of this place, and this is my watch post. How long have you worked here? I'm trying to remember 25 years, 26. When you get to my age, the years just rush by. You stop counting altogether. I remember looking out this window and seeing the veil spread out from horizon to horizon. We were a sprawling town. We were booming. Times change, people change, but the veil will always be here. Spacer's choice will always be here. Our work won't ever end. I take comfort in that. Hmm. Your town is falling to pieces. I wouldn't say things like that. You disagree? Yes, as a matter of fact. When I stand at my window and look out over my town, here's what I see. I see decent, loyal, hard-working people. I see a family. We are all part of the Spacer's Choice family. We are all doing what we were brought into this world to do. You're loyal. This is a Spacer's Choice town. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. The company keeps us warm, keeps us fed, keeps us working. No, the loyal people do. Nothing to do with it, friend. This is good old-fashioned gratitude. Hmm. Go ahead. We need to have a word about this plague. Can we not? Talking about unpleasant things always gets my bile up. Then how the hell do you even make things work if you don't want to talk about unpleasant things? Hmm, how long has this plague been happening? I cannot say. There was no moment when the plagues began. Disease always lurks on the fringes of society, waiting to infect the idle and the lethargic. But in the last 10 years, the plagues have become progressively worse and increasingly frequent. You should have de developed an imm immunity after repeated exposure to a single strain of contagion. Corporate doesn't like us using the word should. It encourages the imagination. I believe plague is a test. It is a test of our loyalty and our fortitude. And it is one we will see through to the end. You're a psycho. You're a psycho. You withhold medicine from your own workers. If I had enough medicine to treat everyone who fell sick, I would, but I don't. I can't save everyone. So I have to choose. You let Adelaide's son die? Adelaide's son was barely competent. I treat him with our medical rations, and it looks like I'm playing favorites. Now, I will not pretend to understand the suffering Adelaide must have felt on account of losing her child, but she is not the only one to have felt such suffering. I wish she had stayed with us. Adelaide left us when we needed her most. Yeah, something else. Some pretty fix on bringing Adelaide back to town. Adelaide was our only flavor specialist. We are a Saltuna canning institution. Saltuna without flavor is like a cysty pig without tumors, borderline inedible. You're fucking kidding me? Word up to me, friend. I'd stack our larders with Saltuna galore. No other brand of Saltuna adds as much vim or vigor to the body's humors. But, and this is something we must keep between the two of us. Saltuna is hard to come by. What with being a species indigenous to the seas of another world. Okay, so what are you canning here? Well, we've scavenged together some organic material from the surrounding environs. Mostly organic, mostly local mushrooms. Some of which possess a texture akin to a well-boiled slab of saltuna. The difference is all but impossible to detect to any but the prissiest of palate. Mm -hmm. so, what makes you think I can convince those deserters to come back? You are not one of us may work to your advantage. Adelaide and her folk loathe the people of Edgewater. No, they noticed. I'm about as diplomatic as a bristling cane. I just hope Adelaide and her folk will see their way past my flaws and return to town. 
<laughs> this is an ugly place to live. Nature is uglier. No. There is safety here. Safety and purpose. But not all of us see that. And I cannot force that vision upon them. Maybe you're all yes, dying because of the mushroom. We have lost even more to play. But it is why we must square our shoulders and carry on. I have too low of a perception, really. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's that. Following the dab. Wait. I appreciate what you've done for us. Get up. I'm not gonna talk to you. Um I spoke to you, she won't come back so long as you're here. Okay. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. <laughs> uh, change of leadership might be what this town needs, really. Choice, man. My father was a Spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer. But it is my home. I may kill him. I don't like people aren't getting sick with plague. I don't believe you. Hmm. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. You're so stupid! This town doesn't eat anything but Saltoon, of course you're going to get sick. Wait, have you been eat have you people eaten ever eaten an actual vegetable? The very notion is just grotesque. A raw vegetable yes! to just ask me to go chew the bark off of a tree. We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna, Catherine. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. I really wanna grab him, his head, and start banging on the desk. I'm pretty sure it's your food that's making you sick. You need Adelaide's garden. Yeah. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. The company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us, so the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. Adelaide's found a way to grow food. Oh, excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? <laughs> I like. If Adelaide's found a way to cure people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in the way. Thank you. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I am sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. Can I pick both you? Please. What are your plans? A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. Mm, this can be easy for you. It has never been easy. You don't have to do this. I do. Adelaide's found a cure for the plague. And she knows how to tend to crop. She's what this town needs. Well, I guess this... That be for me. How do you steal from someone? I've been wondering because... What's that? What did I do? I... yeah, I know I can steal something from him. The card. But are you gonna leave the card behind? Wait, can I even pickpocket him? Sneak. Oh. Oh, I need 40. Okay. God damn it. Never mind then. Then are we going back? Here. To talk to Adelaide. See them going back. Where the hell is she? Somewhere there. That pistol. 
No, that's fresh look. This looks so nice. Okay. Look at that. The snakes come back. Are you gonna thank me in a second? Okay, I took three into living. I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. <laughs> Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. That's nice chunk of experience. Me, you know, injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom. You understand, not a reward. Okay. Edgewater better off with you in the place. You telling me you did all this just to put me in charge? Yes. Of Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. Thank you. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Bye. Oh my god. And you know, are you going out? Okay, see ya. Is there something I don't really think this is that worth stealing? God damn it. I need two more. God, really? Sealed, of course, it's sealed. <laughs> Hello, my dear fox, fox, fox. Sorry, uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Is all? Okay, let's see. Adelaide tells me she's moving back to Edward. Adelaide said that. Yep. Was she sober at the time? Yeah, I think so. I imagine she'd step foot in Edgewater long as Reed ran the town. Something must have changed in Edgewater. Adelaide's good as family. If she's going back, so are we. And okay. Oh, so we went away. Okay. Nope. Never liked Reed much. Can't say I'm sorry he's gone. How do you know he's gone? Oh, I guess they told you. Well, he told. See why Thomas can't just get the generator up and running? Something I can help you with? No. Yeah. Zoe? Home is where the heart is. Marauders took that saying a little too literally. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we'll get in here and see what we can sell of it. Cigarette lighter, don't really need that. What's that? You're so creepy! Oh. What do you think you're doing? Oh, sorry! Can I give it back? Um. Hmm? Just don't make any trouble for me, okay? Sorry, I didn't see you here. Jeez, thought I was alone. Oh. Hmm. Let's hack it. Sounds pretty nice. May the eternal bless my first endeavor. It's been two days since I walked away from life at the Edgewater Cannery. Fortuitously, the old botanical labs are still operational, mostly. The soil is sour. I'll do what I can, but I'm going to need some more powerful fertilizer. Tired of having the taste of salt tuna lingering on my tongue. Day in, day out, I want something fresh, something that grows out of earth. We found another walker from Edgewater, ex-walker now. Desertion rates must be climbing. I'm not terribly surprised. Reed's style of management has always been tyrannical. I imagine an exodus is brewing. At any rate, the walker was in a sorry state. Fever, shell breathing, delirious. Must have been plagued. I set him right with a diet of greens. He was all better in a couple weeks. Physically, spiritually, he's one of our flock now. I am hereby repurposing the, this botanical lab from its original conception as a gear in the soulless, aut soulless automaton of the corporate machine. This greenhouse may look impressive, but like all Spacer Trellis products, it is cheap and unreli unreliable. I shall, 
I shall have to make some repairs with my own two hands. This place shall become a nursery. Before it was abandoned, I understand the horticulturalists failed to produce a single viable crop. Something about the soil being too poor. I am determined to find a way. May the eternal smile upon my endeavors. Flora are living things, are sensitive to their environment as any breathing, thinking body. I contend that the crops in this region failed because the corporate scientists standing to them are cold, heartless, inhuman people acting on behalf of a sterile and inhuman power. One cannot expect your crops to flash with green and rich for the sky under these conditions. The soil is sour, it's true. I don't know quite how to explain that. I am sure the scientists will say something about biology or the carbon cycle. But I can conclude, after months of my own experimentation, that the secret to a rich and wholesome garden is love, attention, compassion, and a natural fertilizer bursting with organic materials, just as na nature intended. That's creepy, yet cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Okay, but that's gonna be it for today. Thank you very much. Stay alive, and see you soon.